There are few things more mysterious than legally obtaining a license for streaming a cover song on Spotify and iTunes. Among them, whatever happened to Dario on Game of Thrones, never forget. So today, I'm going to walk you through the process of putting music up on Spotify or iTunes. I use a company called DistroKit, which is awesome. It's only $20, and you need like an extra dollar a month per cover song that you do. So I did an EP with Andrea, where we have three originals, and we added one cover song on there, Linger by the Cranberries, just so I can kind of go through the process of doing this and uh, show you how it's done. So, check it out, and then let's put it on. so deep You know I'm such a fool for you You got me wrapped around your finger Oh, oh, oh. Do you have to let it linger? Do you have So we're using DistroKid to upload this. Basically all you have to do is click the upload icon and then it gets you right to this page, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is choose how many songs. We have four songs, it's the EP that we both made. Not previously released, my main name under this is my name, but you can have different numbers of accounts that you have under the same account, different band names. So we're naming this Andrea and Sean. Really a very creative band name that we took a lot of time really deciding over. These are all the stores that you have. I'm most interested in Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, and TikTok. More on TikTok coming soon. Hilarious. Release date. Now, it helps to set your release date into the future. They specify like four weeks because then it has like a better chance of being curated on a playlist. So that's something that I ended up doing uh, a little over a month ago. So this happened back in October. This has been out. You should have listened to this by now. So come on. Uh, you can check, say what time you want to do it and stuff to you. So really easy to kind of plan and release ahead of time. You can also get stuff up incredibly quick in just a couple days. It just depends on how long each different store takes to upload it and kind of pick up the stream, right? The most important part is choosing an image. Now, I had a lot of fun with this. You need to make it a square. Minimum 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. Uh, they recommend 3,000 by 3,000. Again, I am super, super happy with the image that I picked because we are making this kind of vintage indie band feel. So this is what I came up with. Uh, I really took the extent of my Photoshop abilities to come up with this. I wanna know Andrea was not happy with the album cover, but she didn't help at all, so this is what we ended up going with. We could have picked like something from one of our live shows, but I thought it was too important to mess around with, so I decided to make the greatest album cover of all time. So basically, there it is, just upload that. Album title, simple enough, is also Andrea and Sean. This is just an EP. Again, you can specify how much you want to sell the album for. A dollar a song, four dollars. I don't even know if anybody buys music anymore, so this is really just kind of like whatever. It's more for streaming. Uh, the primary genre, I guess, is alternative. Secondary genre might be fitness and workout or whatever. I don't know. We're just going to go ahead and pick singer-songwriter because it kind of makes sense, I suppose. So now we're going track by track, all right? We have four tracks, again, three originals. Uh, all you have to do is name them and then choose the file of where it is. All right, so this brings us to the one that we actually covered, Linger by the Cranberries. All you have to do is different from the other ones is just say that this is from another artist and it's a cover song. And then you sign up for the service that actually just procures the license for you, which is the most important part. It's a dollar a month, so $12 a year, and they take care of everything. So much easier than trying to get your license themselves, and then they just take care of everything on the back end as far as like the permission and stuff and like doing it. All you have to know is the name of the artist and the songwriter and the title, and they take care of everything for you. I cannot stress how easy this is compared to how it used to be back in the day. So again, like I said, they obtain the licenses, they funnel the money, if there is any, to the original songwriter, and it's, it's super easy to do. All you have to do is put the title and the original songwriter if you have to look that up, right? So after that, there's a couple different free ones that you can do. Uh, you might as well have it be on Instagram and Facebook in case you want to use it in like an Instagram story. It's easy to find that. Uh, they've got some other stuff that I generally don't mess around with. I think it's at the bare minimum, you just need to have an account, which is super cheap, $20 a year, amazing. And uh, again, a dollar a month per cover song that you want to do. So I will let you know in a future video how much sweet cash we make off this dollar a month <laughs> investment <laughs> that we've made. But essentially, everything currently is up and live now. 
And that's as easy as it is to get any kind of original music or covers up on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, whatever you want. So it's almost like stupid not to do it. Now, from personal experience, what I will say that you should do is promote the heck out of this yourself. I think there might be like, some people still believe that if you just put something up, it'll be discovered. There's so much stuff out there that is not really the case. You really have to kind of push it. And the more that you push it and the more that you get people onto whatever platform you push them to, whether it's Spotify or anything like that, the more that Spotify will recommend that song to be in other people's playlists and to show up, right? So playlists are really what the algorithm is all about. That's why once you get a cover up or any kind of original stuff that you have up on Spotify with DistroKid, really just like get the troops on the ground and just have your friends and stuff, put it in playlists and, and share it as much as you can, right? So the service is great. I've been a huge DistroKid fan and user for as long as I've really been doing this on YouTube. Uh, I used to use like TuneCore and CD Baby and other services like this. That's why I really stake, I'll, I'll stake my flag in the DistroKid service. It's the best one that I've seen. Super easy, very affordable. Uh, if you have ambitions to become an artist, it doesn't make sense to not have it because it's so easy to share once it's on the platforms. Getting it up to the platforms is super easy. So there's no excuses, all right? Uh, anyways, if you have any questions, uh, further, let me know in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, or the website, make sure to check out the EP that we uploaded and share it and put it in your playlist because I think it's awesome. And let me know what you think of the artwork and go ahead and make sure to tell Andrea, whose channel is also listed in the description, how wrong she is about fighting me on my artistic integrity. Because again, at the end of the day, I am an artist and the album cover now will last forever in the annals of Spotify and iTunes. If you, if you go return, don't let it burn. Don't let it fade I know I'm not being around But just to right town It's tearing me apart It's ruining everything I swore I swore it will be true And I am so to you So why were you holding her hand With just the way you said Were you lying all the time Was it just a game to you Show